Hey everyone, we're here in the office getting ready to discuss Cardinals draft. Your thoughts, what'd you think? You gotta go quarterback, right? I thought so. You went quarterback. That yeah, was a good thing. <laughs> So folks are going to be talking about the offensive and defensive lines, whether they address that properly. Of course, the Cardinals ended up going skill positions. They got this speedy guy from UMass, Isabella. Yeah. This guy goes this way. Christian Kirk goes that way. Larry Fitzgerald goes the other way. And Kyler Murray can dissect all it all. All route combinations of with a mobile quarterback. Looks like that's a smart move. You finally got your corner, right. potentially to play opposite Patrick Peterson. He's a local guy. Congratulations. Right. Then you get a safety. Right. Safety's from Alabama. Maybe the kid's got a bad knee, maybe he doesn't. He's a fifth round pick. You take a flyer on him, you see what he can bring you, and maybe He's a you've steal. upgraded the position and he can give you three, five years. Right. right. So there were a lot of decisions made that seemed like they make a lot of sense. Let's talk about the line a little bit. Let's talk about the offensive line. Okay. Mason Cole played center all last season. Right. AQ Shipley was hurt. What if Mason Cole goes to guard, A.Q. Shipley comes back and plays center? Right, natural position. Now you got this big kid, Cunningham, who you drafted last year in the sixth round, who played well at the end of last season. What if he steps in and can be a decent starter? What if D.J. Humphreys can get through the year without getting hurt? Maybe the offensive line isn't the liability that we all thought that it was. Maybe this was the best draft strategy given the team that you're trying to construct. So I can't grade it, right, because who cares what I would say about it? Some people care. A lot no, of people care. No one cares. They, they do care. Check me in a couple years. We'll see what it. But for me, I can grade the logic of it. Can right. I follow the decision making? Can I follow the thinking? And in this case, I can really clearly follow the thinking. It makes sense what he was trying to do. Makes sense, but you got to draft an offensive line, don't you? I mean, you got this quarterback that's like 5'10 on a good day. You let him just run around all and not have no, no guy to tie to him as far as the draft. I thought they should have drafted the offensive line somewhere, but I get the logic, and like you, I agree with you with the grades. Two years, and you see the guys that are still there, are these guys starting, and you'll see how good the, the draft was. Time will tell. Time will tell.